Hi Raw Feeders! Many of you have been asking for a video like this, so today's video will be dedicated to what my dog, cat, and ferret eat in a day. It's morning time, so let's make breakfast. All right, so I'm getting their breakfast ready. This is Choji's plate, Tangy's plate, and Matsu's little bowl. I give Matsu a small breakfast soup in the morning, which is just a small amount of his full day's worth of food with a liquid source and egg added to it for a moisture boost. Tangy gets three meals split throughout the day, and then Choji gets a bunch of meals throughout the day since he's a growing kit. So I'm going to start with Matsu. What I do is get out today's meal container and just put a small amount of food in here. Usually the ground meats since they work the best for a soup-like meal. This is ground beef and ground turkey, but sometimes I'll put some chunks in there like here's some chicken. And then Tangy's container. This is his regular full day's worth of food. So I just like to take a third out and this will be one of three meals. And Choji gets some whole prey in the morning. We've got some chicks, mice, and hamsters in here. So I'm gonna give him two mice. And then I'm also giving some egg today. So Matsu gets one in his breakfast soup and Choji gets a yolk. I'm also getting the membrane from the shell and adding it to Matsu's soup as well. Finally, I'm going to add some moisture to Tangy and Matsu's meals. I would add kefir or bone broth if I had some, but I don't right now. So I'm just adding some water. lunchtime when I'm eating, I'll give Matsu a little bully bite, which is just dehydrated beef pizzle. And Tangy always wants a little something too, so I give him a piece of freeze-dried green tripe. So now it's snack time for Choji and he's getting a chick. Now it's dinner time. Matsu's going to eat the rest of his daily meal container. So he will have a duck wing, rabbit liver, chicken heart, some pork tongue, pork loin. This is some beef liver, some beef spleen, some ground turkey, rabbit lungs, and some ground beef. Then Tangy is going to get another third of his container, which is duck wing, pork loin with fat, rabbit lung, rabbit kidney, and some beef liver. And then Choji is going to get some Viva Raw duck grinds, which I had on hand. He does have some prepped meals as well, but I'm just giving him a little bit of this for variety. And now I'm adding in the meal additions to either balance or just to add something that's necessary. So this is Matsu's flea and tick powder from Wildly Blended. Tangy and Choji get a little bit of nutritional yeast for additional B vitamins. Then everyone gets kelp for iodine. Trace mineral drops. 
some cooked oysters for additional zinc. Not much more is needed, but this is just a little boost. Matsu gets blue mussels for manganese. Tangy and Choji had some yesterday, so I'm not giving them any today. Some raw salmon for omega-3s and vitamin D. Some vitamin E oil, just because we're adding in oily fish today. I don't give this every day since it's a higher dosage than what my animals need, but today they're getting a drop. Then a bit of veggie puree for Matsu. And since I don't have kefir or bone broth, I'm adding in some more water just to mix everything up a bit and provide a little more moisture. Are you ready? Now that it's nighttime, Tangy gets the last bit of his meal, which is some more rabbit lung and trachea, a duck wing tip part, and some beef liver. And then Choji gets a hamster and two mice for his last meal. I really enjoy making videos like this that give a little insight on what my pets eat each day. Every week it's a little different though, as I do like to give variety. If you want to see what Matsu and Tangy eat in a week, watch my prep videos here.